Coming up. I don't know anybody hardly around here that's still grazing mid-March and has been grazing in a drought year. So when other guys are struggling, cutting herds back, running less cattle, poor conception rates, we're pretty much staying the course. A lick tub that pays for itself meets a new superior value added program. See the results next on The American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick, and welcome to The American Rancher. Starting as a small family business in rural Minnesota, Rio Max Lick Tubs have become known across North America as the tub that pays for itself, simply because of the significant hay and forage savings ranchers see. Exciting news! Rio Max has launched a value-added program with superior livestock called Predictive Performance. Calves with a bolstered immune status and optimum gut health earn a premium for their predictive performance in the feed yard. First, we hear from Boone Huffman of Shadron, Nebraska, as he shares his experience with the Rio Max tubs. I'm Boone Huffman in Shadron, Nebraska, and, and we've been selling our cattle on Superior for quite a few years. What I'm really excited about now is being able to market those cattle with a Real Max badge, a predictive performance badge, uh, letting these buyers know that these cattle are on the top notch, you know, mineral program in the country year round. First time this year that Real Max has had that badge, and, and I think it's only gonna grow and give these feedlots and cattle buyers more confidence in the cattle that they're getting. When, it, when a guy can buy a, a, a large amount of cattle and you're not hauling to the dead pile, you're putting them on the rail, you know, or putting them to grass as yearlings. So that's a very heavy, profitable uh, situation for those buyers. And something that's pretty exciting right now is I've got a buyer that is wanting me to help him put together 1,000 to 2,000 head of real max calves. Just to give him more confidence, somebody's not just saying that, they're gonna be what they're gonna be, you know, and they're gonna be vaccinated well and just an overall good health protocol. And that's why he's willing to pay that premium. The reason I, I think the real max does such a good job on the calves, and a lot of guys don't wanna feed it in the summers. It's, they've, they, you know, the tub has been known as a winter product. It's the protein supplement when the grass isn't green. But what we see is when those cows are coming to drink or loafing around, here's six, eight calves on a tub and they just seem to wean better. And we wean oh, about 1,200 of our own and buy another 12 to 2,000 head of feeder calves. And you can just tell the difference. And even last year myself, I bought video cattle that were not on Real Max, and I bought a set that we're on, and I specifically asked that guy to put them on, and I paid very a top market to put that in my bred heifer program. So not only do I see it on the producer side, I see it on the feeder side, and then they're going up, and they're you know in, in our bred heifer program, and you're getting a four or five percent open rate when they used to be a fifteen percent open rate. That's a thousand dollars a head, and that starts being big dollars. If you're a producer and you you look to Real Max, and you know you still are on your system, and, and and heck, you know ranchers are people that don't like change. But here's a product that's going to up your conception rates. It's going to create healthier cattle. You're going to increase your weaning weights, and all doing that while you save forage. You can have confidence that the Real Max is the tub that pays for itself. And then on top of that, if you can market those calves with that batch through Superior to let those buyers know, then you're gonna get that premium for those cattle. And it's exciting that this is the first year, but I think it's gonna really grow and as more buyers buy calves now that they know we're on the Real Max product, I think there's gonna be a lot more repeats and asking for those cattle back. Let's go back to March of 2022 and hear why Boone feels that the tubs pay for themselves in the first place. We're gonna Talk a little bit on the rate of return on the Real Max tubs on our ranch this year. And this group of cows behind me 505 head, and we ran them uh, for four months, from mid-October down until uh, mid-March on just about 1,100 acres. If we're figuring a $200 a ton hay, basically that saved two months worth of forage that we either would have grazed or we would have fed. And uh, that breaks down right around $90,000. So if I was feeding these cows full feed, they'd have about $1,500 a day, uh, the current hay cost. On top of that, that includes my mineral package, it includes the protein 
So the only time we fed these cows hay, which a lot of people are gonna find it hard to believe, was just when it was that negative 20, negative 30 below weather. And that's when we, we gave them hay just for good animal husbandry to make sure they're filled up and, and doing good. Going back a long ways, I, like I said, really truly believe the year round program, having the cows on it all year long, just basically pays for the tub itself, just in the forage savings. You know, $90,000, that's a semi load and a half of, of the tubs. And that was just in five months that paid for that. So if you figure that on a year round basis, you got another eight months in there that basically is free. So it turned this, you know, stockpile grass, which you might say is worth 20 bucks an acre if you're renting it, $25 an acre, and turned into $200 forage. If you look at it that way, because I didn't feed hay for 60 days, I would have had to feed otherwise. This year when we did our, our preg rates, we were right at 97%. Our first calf heifers historically were 15% open on a 40 day breed and we knocked that down to five. I didn't used to feed, I didn't used to feed to the heifers in the summer and the spring on the development. Just changing that, if that's the 10%, you know, that starts being a big deal. Taking a red heifer, we'll just say if she's worth 2000 and if she's just a, an open heifer is worth 1100. So, you know, the depreciation that you lose on those open, on those open cows is a huge freebie, right? So, cause basically just on the four savings alone, it paid for the tubs. So then I get some heavier calves and, and uh, higher conception rates on those cows and heifers. And that's all just a bonus. And you can figure that economically however you want to do that. You know, we, we bred 400 heifers this year and with only 5% open compared to 10%, that'd be 40 head, that's 40,000 there also. So if you start really figuring up everything with your depreciation, we're not out here with tractors. You're not feeding hay, you're not hauling hay, you're not repairing. We go out there, we chop ice in the winter and make sure the cows got tubs and salt. So there's a there's a lot of cost and labor savings and repair savings and fuel savings and all all in all, it's a, it's probably the most unique and, and amazing livestock product that there is. Like I said I used to not be a believer six, seven years ago, but after going, you know, especially when the when the costs are what they are, we're we're full on board now. With all that said, Real Max is is the I think the only livestock product that pays for itself. Plus, not only does it pay for itself, it pays you to use Real Max. And I don't know anybody hardly around here that's still grazing mid-March and has been grazing in a drought year. So when other guys are struggling, cutting herds back, running less cattle, poor conception rates, we're pretty much staying the course. I say Real Max is a tub that pays for itself. Next, we hear from Trevor Greenfield, the founder and co-owner of Rio Nutrition, who explains how the Predictive Performance Program works. Hello, my name is Trevor. I'm the founder and co-owner of Rio Nutrition. Just want to explain the Predictive Performance Program by Rio Max. This is a value-add program, and it is finally a chance for folks using the Rio Max tubs to get a badge, get some recognition, and get some extra value. First of all, it gives the feed yard confidence. It gives the superior livestock rep credibility. And thirdly, and most importantly, it gives the rancher an extra premium. There's two tiers available. The main one is the 365, and that's when the cows have been on it for a year plus. With that, you see some key benefits like fetal programming, the immune status, the ability to express the genetic performance, all of that. Now on the 90, that is a program where if you're not able to have been on it for a year or you just got going, that still gives you credit uh, towards having it on for 90 days, which according to Dr. Hall, ex Utah State University veterinarian, uh, he explains that that 90 day window is enough to get their levels up. I feel real comfortable with that 90 days to get the whole group where they should be. Nowhere near the same as a 365 program, but giving credit where it's due. It's not only about the premium. Rio Max is the tub that pays for itself. You might say, well, that sounds too good to be true. Uh, hands down, it's the tub that pays for itself. Yeah, it's paying for itself. The tubs definitely have paid for themselves. There's several ways that Rio pays for itself. They do pay for themselves. It more than pays for itself. It actually is the tub that pays for itself. The tub pays for itself. Rio is paying for itself tenfold in our program. Yeah, yep. it pays for itself. Ranchers using Rio Max say a 15 to 30 percent hay and forage savings. Now get an extra premium on your calves at sale time with the Predictive Performance Program by Rio Max, the tub that pays for itself.
after the break. Our only other avenue was commission houses, and they were far and few between. It's, it's enabled us to sell our calves right here off the farm. Learn how cattle ranchers in remote areas of the country are marketing their cattle to a nationwide buyer base. That's after the break here on The American Rancher. Welcome back to The American Rancher. In the remote desert along the Idaho-Utah border, cattle buyers are few and far between. That puts a limit on cow-calf operators when they market their stock. Two operators in the region talk about how Superior Livestock Auction puts their cattle in front of a nationwide buyer base. First, we're with Russell Boyer, who calls Snowville, Utah his home. This ranch here was my wife's family's ranch. They homesteaded here in 1881. I think we're the fourth generation. My boys are gonna be the fifth. Our genetics, traditionally, the, the cattle in this country was mainly Hereford type cows influence. Early 80s, we started putting the black Angus into these cattle and predominantly now, most of these herds are all black around here. We're separate operations, but we run together. Uh, our bulls are selected by us. Uh, we have a bull judging committee, so we, we use uh, the latest genetics that we can buy, purebred bulls, black Angus, and uh, therefore we're getting a consistent calf that my neighbor's calf is peas in the pod with mine because there, we run together, we, we trail these cattle year round. Uh, very few of our trucks, uh, cows hit a truck. And uh, the only thing is different is there's just a different brand on that calf. We set up a system that in pooling these cattle, it makes it so the little guy that doesn't have a truckload can get a load together. Be it your son or somebody starting with this, uh, we can have a producer with only 60 head of cows or a guy that's got 400 head of cows. It allows everybody to be able to capitalize on those top prices. Numbers always sell well. Guys get a lot of consistency out of numbers. But if you don't have a full load and your neighbor and you can put a load together, I can come by and look at them, see if they match up, tell you. I mean, and then, then you can get a forward contract and all the benefits we've talked about superior. You're not hauling them to a sale barn in October, waiting for eight, 10, 12 hours for them to sell, standing there, shrinking the whole time. Health isn't good, stress on the animals is worse. Why superior livestock? Number one, the money's good. They don't don't have to haul them anywhere. We pick them up, buyer sends the trucks, we pick them up there. We're there, we look the cattle over when they go on. We write the check that day, they, they can take it to the bank that day. There's no wait time, there's no hold time, and, and it's good to go. I've been selling with Superior since uh, my father had started in Summit County, since the second year they were in business started in a calf pool down there. And then we come up here and become part of this operation and we brought Superior into the valley in the early 90s. And the great thing about what Superior is, and these ranches that we run in common with, we're able to market these calves instead of selling just one way to calf. We can market our lightweights and our heavyweights and we co-mingle those loads together in order for us to be able to ship all our calves and get us a higher premium for, for our weights on those truckloads. You know, the country buyers in this area, they left in the early 90s. Our only other avenue was commission houses and they were far and few between. It's, it's enabled us to sell our calves right here off the farm. Our rep's been able to market our cattle from California clean back into Kansas. And uh, we have repeat buyers. We've had one repeat buyer that bought 18, 19 years. So for us, Superior, it's the only way to go. Welcome back 
Welcome back to The American Rancher. Over three decades ago, Superior Livestock Auction leveled the playing field by putting secluded cow-calf operations in front of a nationwide buyer base. Another ranch that benefits from Superior's market is Connor Springs Ranch, just outside Tremont in Utah. We're a cattle ranch of approximately a thousand mother cows and we have about a 350 acre irrigated farm. We raise corn silage, hay, uh, and other wheat, wheats for, for forage. Ranch with my father, my brother, and my son. Our wives help out. It is a high desert. It's bunch grasses, sagebrush, grease wood, June grass. We have a lot of slough grasses, sloughy marshy areas, but we also have pretty rough, rocky, June grass covered mountains. We water out of the Bear Lake, which is approximately, I don't know, 60 miles maybe east of us. There's approximately 300 miles of canal, and we are on the end of the one west canal. The rains we've been getting have been great. I mean, it's it's at least doubled the production of the grass on the ranch, at, at least. We've been to uh, some years where we get to seven to nine inches of rain, and I'm, I'm sure we've kind of learned to live with it. And when it rains like it has this year, we sure don't. I heard of some of the folks who kind of complain about we've had this much rain and too much rain. And when you live in the desert, it's kind of hard to cuss too much rain. It's, it's very difficult. It's good stuff. Uh, we acquired the ranch in 1953 from the Browning Arms Company. They dispersed of a lot of their properties and uh, in that time frame. And we were fortunate enough to be friends with one of the foremans that were here at their time on this ranch. And there were many uh, in the area that would like to have had the Connor Springs Ranch, but between the, the friendships between my father and my uncle uh, uh, with the foreman, we got an inside track and uh, we acquired this property at that time in 53. It's, uh, it was primarily Hereford cattle back in the day. Well, that's all we did have was Hereford cattle. And we started uh, breeding a few Angus cattle with the Hereford cattle and liked the offspring and they performed well. We background our replacement heifers and pick our replacement heifers in the late fall, early spring. They get bred in the first of May. We AI them from slick sires and then we breed them to whatever bulls we choose to pick. It'll be Angus or Hereford or Simmental. And then after we're done, we throw in Angus cleanup bulls. Where's Pete? Connor Springs Ranch is also a customer of Superior Rep Kelly Kunstler. As with all Superior customers, Kelly works with Craig and Pete to make plans that make sense. But most importantly, everyone concentrates on highly consistent quality from sale to sale. You'll get used to it. We'll start right away. Craig and I have already talked about marketing dates. We try to be consistent. We try not to jump around a whole bunch from sale to sale. We, you know, we usually always hit one of the four summer sales, either Billings, you know, the Colorado Week in the Rockies, Winnemucca, or the Sheridan sale. And um, they seem to fit our type of cattle better. But there's a lot of cattle for sale every year. and. I tell these guys, you got to make your cattle stand out. What, what's going to make somebody look at your cattle versus the group next to you and think, I need to buy them instead of the next group? And um, these guys and Russ and them do the same thing. But if there's a program, source and age, uh, um, NHTC vaccination program type cattle, and they can do it, legitimately do it, they're all about being able to do that. Back in the day, 70s, 80s, you had one guy that you were acquainted with pretty much that run around packing three or four feedlot checkbooks, run around buying cattle. That was the only game in town, a country buyer, so to speak. We then went, there was a internet deal that come around, 
it still you didn't have the exposure you have with Superior. And now with Superior, you have a lot of, of feedlots looking at your cattle. The vast uh, number of buyers that view the cattle is the main thing. It, it goes, you know, you know how that works. One thing about Craig and these guys, they get us forward contract. Anytime when they want to sell the cattle, they can sell them, get that forward contract. Cattle don't have to go to a sale ring stand. A lot less stress on the animals, a lot less stress on the people. The main thing boils down that we're all in this for is to make a living. And the way things are, you've got to be careful who you do business with. You need to be able to know when you sell something, you're going to get paid for it. I think that's the one thing that stands superior out above everybody else. Their money has always been good. They have never turned back any contracts. There's never been any conflict. Uh, uh, shipping and receiving and the uh, sort on them have been fair to both both parties and we've established a buyer that uh, has stayed with us uh, quite a bit and uh, we've had a good experience with it with it superior we'd like to thank you for joining us today on the american rancher we hope you enjoyed the show for more information about us visit our website theamericanrancher.com or connect with us on facebook or youtube I'm Pam Minnick. For our entire American Rancher team, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.